Hello everyone. In this session, we will solve some more examples on Quinn McCluskey minimization technique. The example is simplify the following using Quinn McCluskey minimization technique k is equal to f of wxyz sigma 0 1 4 5 9 11 13 and 15. The first step is we will write the binary equivalent of all these main terms. All these main terms are written over here 0 1 4 5 9 11 13 and 15. Let us write the binary equivalent of all these main terms. So 0 is 0 0 0 0 0. Similarly 1 is 0 0 0 1. Next 4 is 0 1 0 0 5 0 1 0 1. 9 is 1 0 0 1 then 11 1 0 1 1 13 is 1 1 0 1 and 15 is 1 1 1 1 after writing the binary equivalent we have to make the group of the main terms which have same number of ones for example here 0 do not have any 1, 1 and 4, they have a single 1, this is single 1 and this is also single 1, therefore those two can be grouped together. Similarly 5 and 9, they have 2 ones, this also has 2 ones and this also has 2 ones, they, these two can be grouped together, 11 and 13, they have 3 ones, similarly 15 is having four ones. So, we in the next step, we are grouping the main terms which have same number of ones. Let us write those. Group number 0 in which we have the main term 0 and variables are 0, 0, 0, 0. Similarly, group number 1 where we have 1 and 4 as the main terms because these two have only one 1 in them. So, 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. Similarly, group number 2 which has main terms 5 and 9 and these two 5 and 9 have two ones. 5 can be written as 0, 1, 0, 1 and 9 can be written as 1, 0, 0, 1. Group number 3, we get 11 and 13. These two have 3 ones, 1, 0, 1, 1 and 13 is 1, 1, 0, 1. So, these, three, these two have 3 ones, 1, 2, 3, 3 ones. This is also 1, 2, 3, 3 ones. And the last group, fourth group is main term number 15 and it is 1, 1, 1, 1 which has 4 ones. After grouping like this, we will compare and combine the main terms where they change in a single position. Here, we are combining 0th group with the first group. Next, first group with the second group. Second group with the third group and third group with the fourth group. As already we have discussed, this zero is combined is zero is combined with one. We will check whether that grouping is possible. Similarly, zero is compared with four. When zero and one are compared, for example, here you see zero and one. Now, if you see these two, there is a single position change. So, 0, 1 is a single position change whereas these three zeros and these three zeros they remain the same. Therefore, 0 and 1 can be combined. 
we can write it as group number 0 and the main terms 0 and 1 can be combined together and we get the variables as 0, 0, 0 and dash. See where there is a change in the position that is indicated by the dash. Remaining all will be as it is. Here three zeros, here three zeros means these are same. Therefore, here also those three are indicated and 0 and 1 can be combined. So, similarly, we have to check for such conditions. When such conditions are satisfied, then we combine those main terms. Here, if you check, if you check 0 and 4, then which are the different variables we have? Like here, 0, 0, 0, 0 and it is 0, 1, 0, 0. And if you observe this, there is a change in position 0 and 1. Remaining all are zeros. This is 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0 and this is also 0, this is also 0. Only there is a change in the 1 bit. Therefore, those can be combined and we write it as 0 and 4. And where there is a position change, here there is a position change that has to be indicated by dash. 0, 0, dash, 0, 0. And one more thing you have to remember, when you combine the terms, here we have combined 0 and 1, here we have combined 0 and 4, you have to tick mark. 0 and 1 are tick marked. So in the next step, we have combined 0, 4. So 4 is also tick marked. Next we see group number 1 with group number 2 whether such conditions are satisfied. So if you observe, then we get as group number 1, we can combine 1 and 5. And that has to be 5 has to be tick marked. And we get it as 0 dash 0 1. Similarly, 1 and 9 can be combined. We get it as dash 0 0 1 and 9 has to be tick marked. Next is 4 and 5 can be combined. 0, 1, 0 and dash. 4 and 5 already they are tick marked. So after this we have to check for next group. Group 2 has to be checked with group 3. So we get it as group number 2. 5 and 13 can be combined. So when we combine 5 and 13, we get it as dash 1, 0, 1. Tick mark that 5 is already tick marked. Tick mark 13. Next 9 and 11 can be combined. So 1, 0, dash 1. Tick mark it. Similarly, 9 and 13 can be combined. 1, dash 0, 1. So already 9 and 13 are tick mark. That is group number 2. Next is group number 3. In group number 3, we have to compare third group with the fourth group. In this, we can combine 11 and 15. So, tick mark that. 11 is already ticked and 15 you tick mark. You get it as 1 dash 1 1 and one more is 13 and 15. You will get it as 1, 1, dash 1. Like this, we can combine the main terms in groups of 2. So, the condition is, there has to be a single position change. Remaining all variables are to be same. And where there is a position change, that has to be marked as dash. In the next step, we combine again these groups. 0th group is combined with the first group. First group is combined with second group. Second group is combined with the third group. So with this, we can group, we can make the groups of four main terms. When we combine, the condition is the dash has to be into the same position 
and there has to be only one position change then only such variables can be combined if you see you see 0 1 and 4 5 now what is here the dash is into the same position here there is a dash and here there is a dash right and then this is 0 this is 0 there is a position change here 0 to 1 and these two are zeros if thus condition this this type of the condition exists then we can combine such terms that is 0 1 and 4 5 can be combined and in the next step we write it as group 0 we can write it as 0 1 4 5 and wherever there is a dash that dash has to be indicated as it is and where there is a position change it has it should also be indicated by the dash therefore we write it as 0 da, 0 dash 0 and dash if you continue the same process in the group 1 we can combine 1 9 5 13 and we get the variables as dash dash 0 1 in the second group we get the main terms combination as 9 11 13 and 15 and variables we get as 1 dash dash 1 after combining this and when you combine in the previous step you have to tick mark 0 1 4 5 is combined so 0 1 and 4 5 has to be tick marked similarly whichever variables are combined whichever min terms are combined those are to be tick marked into the previous table after doing this we get these different groups and the min term list is this in the next step that is in the prime implicant table we have the pi terms and the decimal list and these all are the main terms which are given into the problem. The PI terms are nothing but whichever term you have here. That is, we have main term list as 0, 1, 4, 5. And if you see here, W is 0 and Y is 0. So, this 0 and this 0 can be written as W bar Y bar. In this group, you can write it as Y is 0 z is 1 therefore this has to be y bar z and in the last group w is also 1 z is also 1 and this can be written as w and w and z in the prime implicant table let us like that the first one is w bar y bar and the decimal list is 0 1 4 5 0 1 4 5 next one is y bar z and decimal list is 1, 9, 5, 13. Next is WZ, 9, 11, 13 and 15. Then we put a cross mark with respect to the decimal list. For this W bar Y bar, the decimal list is 0, 1, 4, 5. Therefore, we put it as 0, 1, 4 and 5. For the next one it is 1, 9, 5, 13, 1, 9, 5 and 13. Next is 9, 11, 13, 15. Now you have to check each column. In whichever column there is a single cross mark that has to be circled. If you see here column number 0 that is this there is a single cross mark. Similarly, for this, there is a single cross mark. And also for this, there is a single cross mark. And for this also, there is a single cross mark. Therefore, those are to be circled. So, this has to be circled. 4 has to be circled. 11 has to be circled. And 15 has to be circled. You have to check whether all the main terms are covered or no. So, these circuit indicates that they are the essential prime implicants. 
एंड दिस डब्ल्यू बार वाई बार पी आई टर्म कवर्स जीरो वन फोर एंड फाइव सिमिलरली दिस डब्ल्यू जेड कवर्स नाइन लेवन थर्टीन फिफ्टीन सो नाइन लेवन थर्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन इफ यू सी हियर ऑल द मेन टर्म्स आर कवर्ड देर फोर दिस इज एसेंशियल प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो द एसेंशियल प्राइम इम्प्लीकेंट एंड सिंस ऑल द मेन टर्म्स आर कवर्ड वी कैन राइट द फाइनल एक्सप्रेशन एज के इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू बार वाई बार और डब्ल्यू जेड बिकॉज दिस कवर्स फोर मेन टर्म्स एंड दिस कवर्स फोर मेन टर्म्स एंड ऑल द मेन टर्म्स आर कवर्ड देर फोर आवर इक्वेशन इज K is equal to W bar Y bar plus W Z or W bar Y bar or W Z. The same thing can be verified through the K map. This is a four variable K map. All these ones are put with respect to the mean terms given in the problem. Now we have to group the mean terms. Group the ones. This is one group. This is another group and this can be the other group now if you write the expression the expression for this is wz which is the essential prime implicant and the expression for this is w bar y bar this is also the essential prime implicant whereas the expression for this is y bar z which is the prime implicant therefore our final expression would be k is equal to these two are the essential prime implicants they have covered all the ones or the min terms therefore k is equal to w bar y bar or w z this is the final expression which is same as as obtained using the quinn maclusky technique w bar y bar or w z and this is also w bar y bar or w z we will solve one more example simplify the following using quinn maclusky minimization technique k is equal to f of a b c d sigma of 0 0 2 5 7 8 10 13 and 15 what is the first step first step is you need to put the binary values that is 0 0 2 is here 2 then we have 5 then 7 then 8 then 10 then 13 and then 15 write the binary equivalent of all this for 0 it is 0 0 0 0 for 2 it is 0 0 1 0 next is 5 0 1 0 1 next is 7 0 1 1 1 8 is 1 0 0 0 0 then we have 10 1 Zero one zero, then thirteen one one zero one, and then fifteen is one 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 one. In the next step, we group the mean terms containing the same number of ones. So there is no one here. If you see two and eight, they have single one. Five and ten, five and ten, they have two ones. Seven and thirteen, they have three ones, and fifteen has four one. So we will group them together. So group number zero, main term is zero, and A B C D are zero 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 zero. Similarly, group number one, the main terms are two and eight. and variables are 0 0 1 0 and 8 is 1 0 0 0 
group number 2 where we have two ones and those are min terms 5 and 10 and 5 is 0 1 0 1 and 10 is 1 0 1 0 group number 3 7 and 13 7 is 0 1 1 1 and 13 is 1 1 0 1 and last is group number 4 which can which has the mean term of 15 which has all four ones 1 1 1 1 see here we have covered all this and we have arranged in such a way that each group contains the same number of ones next is we compare and combine the mean terms the procedure followed is we compare the adjacent groups when we compare the adjacent groups we can combine in such a way that only there is, if there is a single position change we combine and wherever there is a position change we put we indicate that as the dash so here this is 0 and this is 2 if you compare these two you have this position change remaining all are zero these two are zeros these two are zero this is zero as well as this is zero such groups can be combined therefore group number zero min terms combined are zero and two and you have the variables as zero zero dash and zero similarly you can combine zero and eight this is zero and this is eight if you observe these two 0 and 8 there is a change over here these three are zeros and these three are zeros therefore 0 and 8 can be combined 0 and 8 dash 0 0 0 so when you combine you have to take mark in the first step we have combined 0 and 2 in the second step we have combined 0 with 8 next you have to see the next group that is 1 with 2 then 2 with 3 then 3 with 4 if you complete or if you follow the same process you get it as group number 1 has min terms 2 and 10 so 10 is here and the variables are dash 0 1 0 next is 8 and 10 and the variables are 1 0 dash 0 so both 8 and 10 are already marked tick marked next is group number 2 you can combine 5 and 7 0 1 dash 1 5 has to be tick marked and 7 has to be tick marked next is 5 and 13 dash 1 0 1 13 is tick marked similarly in the third group you can combine 7 and 15 7 and 15 15 is tick marked so it has to be dash 1 1 1 and 13 and 15 so 1 1 dash 1 now in this step we have combined two min terms in the next step we combine four min terms when we combine the four min terms we have to see that the dash has to be in the same position and there has to be a single position change so if you see 0 2 and 8 10 the dash is in the same position this is changing from 0 to 1 these two are zeros and these two are zeros so such conditions can be if such condition exists those can be combined together so we have to compare 0 with 1 then 1 with 2 then 2 with 3 follow the same process go on comparing the condition is that the dash has to be into the same position when we compare the adjacent groups and there has to be a single position change when we compare that we get the groups as 0 to 8 10 as the first group 
when we combine you have to remember that those are to be tick marked group number 0 0 to 8 and 10 so this has to be dash 0 dash 0 see here 0 to 8 10 0 to 1 is dash and this is 0 as it is and next dash as it is next 0 therefore it has to be dash 0 dash 0 dash 0 dash and 0 so in group number 2 we can combine 5 7 13 15 so it has to be dash 1 dash and 1 so as as soon as you combine you have to go on tick marking and final step is the prime implicant table so in the prime implicant table we have pi terms as well as the min term list therefore this is group 0 and this is group 2 and if you see here you get the pi term as b bar and d bar there is 0 over here there is 0 over here so you get it as this as b bar and this as d bar similarly, similarly if you check this group there is a 1 over here there is a 1 over here you get the pi term as b d the same thing has to be written in the next step in the prime implicant table the pi term is b bar d bar and the decimal list is 0 to 8 10 and next pi term is b d and decimal list is 5 7 13 and 15 and these are the main terms which are given in the problem therefore put the cross mark 0 0 2 8 and 10 similarly over here 5 7 13 and 15 if you observe in each of the column there is a single cross mark therefore all are to be circled and we have only the PI, two pi terms and those two are the essential prime implicant therefore we get the final expression as k is equal to b bar d bar or bd see here this is the problem given for this the minimized expression is k is equal to b bar d bar or bd the same can be verified through the Carnot map. The ones are written, the ones are indicated with respect to the main terms which are given in the problem. Now we need to group. So these four ones can be grouped together. Similarly, these four ones can be grouped together. The expression for this is b bar d bar which is essential prime implicant. Similarly, the expression for this is b d which is also the essential prime implicant. Therefore, our final expression would be k is equal to b bar d bar or bd which is same as what we have obtained using the quinn maklesky techniques this is k is equal to b bar d bar or bd and this is also k is equal to b bar d bar or bd this is how we can solve the problems using quinn maklesky minimization technique and for verification, we can compare that with the Carnot map. Thank you.